Got the state of him? Holy cow. <laughs> Don't think I'll talk to that one. Got this nice little sheltered refuge. Hey, what is this place? Some kind of arms pl Arms dealer? Also got... Whoa, we're going a little bit off the beaten track here. Ah, this is going towards the apartments. Right, okay, we'll leave that for now. Because we'll be coming this way eventually. But I'm in intrigued as to what this place is. Ah, ebook. <coughs> no better. The myth of human augmentation by William Taggart. Somebody else, other than you, Darrow. It makes a change. You got anything you want to buy or sell? I'm the guy you want to deal with. Everything's on the computer, right at your fingertips. Hey, Andy. Yes, let's do some selling. Right, what does he want? Oh, let's take a peeky. So he's machine pistol or oh, ten millimeter. I think I'll sell the machine pistol for now. I'm gonna try and uh, I did initially say that I was gonna probably go with more of a run and gun style than stealth, but judging by the last mission, I may adopt a more stealthy approach. I say it's a lot of fun. I'll keep my grenades. I'll keep my uh, energy bars. I probably need all of these, don't I, really? And oh, ammunition. Well, get rid of the um, machine pistol ammo. Okay, uh, keep the revolver, keep the tranquilizer darts, the 10 millimeter pistol and the combat rifle. Uh, I don't have a combat rifle yet. Let's sell it. Okay. Good. Right. Let's see what's good for sale. Shotgun cartridges, tranquilizer darts, or 10mm pistol ammo. Damage upgrade. Burst round system. What's these? Increases the weapon's damage. Ooh. That would be handy for my uh, magnum. Give it even more of a kick. Tranquilizer rifle. Ooh, this sounds like a lot of fun. I could do with a non-lethal. Uh, well, I'm not bothered about. I'm not bothered about the non-lethal part so much, but. Uh, uh, definitely something that's silent. Fifteen hundred. Okay, I'll, I'll bear this in mind if I need to come back. Okay. See you soon. Hey, that's my line. All right, we have a bit more space in our inventory. A bit of inventory management. Bear with me. It would probably do it by itself if I picked up anything that was uh, worthy enough, but uh, uh, I'll just humor myself for the moment. A bit more space. Where does that go? Up behind somewhere. Okay, let's go inside the clinic. I for one am 
approve of these protests. These limb people are drug pushers. Someone is getting rich while the rest of us are suffering. Jensen. David Serlov told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be on neuropazine shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrodes seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well, Mr. Seraph did ask me to discuss another topic with you. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro-enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please, take a look. Oh, this sounds good. I've got, oh, 5,000 credits added to my list as well. Well, let me take a wee nosy, shall I? How much are these? Praxis thingamabobs. Hypnotism, what's this? Gain a temporary increase of 50 health points. Oh, hyp hyp <laughs> hypnotism. Hypostim. <laughs> Dear me. Cyber boost energy jar. Whoa. Replenish three energy cells in one foul swoop. Typhoon ammo. I don't even have the typhoon augmentation yet. But when I do, I won't know where to come for the ammunition. I might buy a couple of these. These are uh, pretty nifty things. Oh, and look how much a Praxis kit is. 5,000. Holy moly. That's a lot. Dr. Teasdale to X-ray. Dr. Teasdale to X-ray. Buying this item will automatically increase your Praxis point counter. Well, they give us 5,000 to spend, and uh, yeah. I'm going to spend it on a Praxis Point. I could buy another. But um, I don't know. I'll buy a couple of these. There we go. Very well, Mr. Jensen. Use it in good health. Use it in good health. Thank you, Doctor. I uh, will do just that. Well, 5,000 credits for a Praxis point. As I say, until I've actually uh, had a look around town a bit more in a bit, in a bit more detail and find out what exactly there is available to buy, I won't just burn my cash at the moment uh, too quickly. Probably could use... Uh, probably, uh, if I eat this, get my energy bar back. There we go. Back up to two. Building Wings, A Better Tomorrow. By David Seraph. Hey, we're getting a bit of variety now. Dr. Chepkowski to OR. Dr. Chepkowski to OR. Dr. Chepkowski. Liberate yourself. Honey. There's other people he could call. That's quite nice. Her phone was ringing, then she answered it. <laughs> Simple. 
but quite nice. Indestructible. <clears throat> Whoa, where am I going down here? Am I going out of bounds? I'm nosy. Under anesthesia before. Is it true they stop your heart and the machine does your breathing? I know it sounds a little hair raising, but we do it every day, several times over. It's a very safe procedure. Will I feel any pain or anything? It gets done through your IV needle. You'll be asked to count backwards, and the next thing you know, you'll be opening your eyes and the procedure will be over. Wow. Will I dream? Not while you're under, but you might afterward as you wake up. Oh, this is all rather uh, surreal, isn't it? Ebook. The Visual Cortex 2.0 The Eye Redesigned <laughs> Just helping myself in inside the uh, operating theatre don't, don't mind me Don't mind me at all Ooh, what's this? Oh! Prony de jar! Yep, I'll take that, thank you. Oops. Oh yeah, these arms? Are these arm prothesis? Wow. Okay. And an unlock computer. Sounds like they're talking about me here. An inspection team from the World Health Organization will be paying a visit to your limb clinic within the next week or so in order to evaluate conditions. Making sure everything is properly prepared. <laughs> oh, Adam Jensen. No allergies. Has demonstrated healing ability greater than two standard deviations above the mean of the following. Speed of recovery, repossession of faculties, post-traumatic memory retention. Unusually large quantities of NGF appearing around implementation sites, or implantation sites. Unique autoimmune disorder. May indicate he will not require neuropazine injections anytime soon. One previous operation, six months ago, life critical, requiring full replacement of chest cavity and left arm, right arm, and legs replaced at behest of employer. Authority granted under terms of employment contract. Recovery speed being unknown at the time, patient was also prefitted with PEDOT biochips in all areas of possible neuroprosthetic insertion to reduce need for physiotherapy following any subsequent enhancement surgeries. Hmm. Okay. So I'm a walking machine almost. But we knew that anyway, so... Uh, oh, look at this guy, hands in pockets, head shaking, ooh, chilling out. And you're a doctor? Phew, I hope you didn't operate on me, you damn slacker. Okay. Protesting is not against the law. I know that, officer. But some of those guys were carrying tire irons and setting garbage cans on fire. And those were the ones we arrested. The rest were merely exercising their right to free speech. What about my right to come to work each day without fearing for my life? I've still got to walk home tonight. I understand your concern. But if you want round-the-clock protection, I suggest you hire a private security company. Yeah, that told him. Okay, so we've bought a praxis point. Oops. Adam, are you finished at the clinic? For now. Good. Right now I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance in the side of the building. Yeah, thank you. You just sit in your office and bark the orders. Leave the schematics up to me, thank you. Bloody hell, fire. I'm an ex police officer for God's sake. I think I know a secret way into the station. Anyway, yes. We have uh, bought a praxis pot, which means we're going to do our random select process to see what we're going to upgrade next. Uh, but not quite now. That is, will happen in the next part because we've come to the end of this set of updates. So join me next time when we shall head 
to... I don't know, actually. I think we'll probably try one of these side quests first before we head to the police station. Uh, I think the motherly ties one takes precedence. Megan? Mm-hmm. We need to investigate what happened. And uh, that might take precedence for my feelings for what sounds like um, Jensen's ex-partner. So yeah, that will happen next time, and we'll also upgrade one of our other augments. So until then, see you soon.